The Good Life Principle called the best seat in the house um, is my simple reminder to try not to pine and want and be and, and uh, desire after the circumstance of others or other circumstances that are fiction made up in my mind. You know, imagining, for example, that I had um, made a different turn in life and I had more money. I was doing that a little bit over the weekend. Um, there was a point in my life when I had a million dollars and we elected to go to Japan and I blew that million <coughs> uh, trying to make my own life there. <coughs> I've, uh, I've got a video that talks about that somewhere, how I went through a million dollars, how I blew a million dollars, how I lost a million dollars, something like that. I almost... We almost made the choice of taking that million dollars and investing in real estate, buying like five properties in the Ojai Valley here in California. If we had made that course, of course this is all just speculation at this point, then the circumstance we'd be in now would be very different. Now our circumstance is not bad by any means. I'm really glad to be exactly where I am, mainly because of what's going on between my head because I got over my demons and uh, I solved a lot of the problems that were happening that plagued me as a, as, as a, as a young adult, as a mid middle-aged adult. Um, I was a pretty screwed up person. So the path that we took on, that we wound up, wasn't a lucrative path financially, but it was a very good path in terms of getting uh, mostly my act together to be a better man. My wife's always been a a very good woman, so that hasn't been a problem. So, but for me, now I don't know. Unfortunately, she had to. I mean, it was I was the one that earned the million dollars, but together, I mean, because we did this as a family, but I'm the one that blew it too. So, I mean, I guess you could say that she might. I don't know. Would she rather have a lot of money and a screwed up man? I don't know. Maybe I would have gotten myself solved, but I don't think so. I was, when I had that money, I was going down a bad path. I was going down a bad path. Losing the money broke broke that, and broke that. The whole idea of going alone is to apprehend the emptiness, the nothingness, the being alone, and then rising from those ashes, so to speak, and building a good life out of it. Losing the money was part of that, right? It was the first step in going alone, because it's the coming back that was the the, the benefit, the boon, the, the the gain from all of that. So yeah, I mean, I'm happy with the course that I took, but when in those moments like now, I've got this debt that I acquired because I didn't, I wasn't able to save or I didn't, I was foolish and I didn't save enough. I only saved enough for my daughter's college to get her about halfway through. So Yumiko and I have piled on a lot of debt, about $40,000 of debt uh, to get Emily through that last two years of university. So I'm facing going into retirement now with, you know, a $40,000 in debt. Now I could pay that debt off. I'm, I'm totally diverging on off. I could pay that off with our savings, our our retirement savings. I don't want to do that, so I'm, but I could, and I'm tempted to do that. Anyway, I'm going way off of that. You see, you see what I mean, right? If I, the, the, my mind says, okay, if the, the the best seat in the house, right? The best seat in the house says, be all right with where you are, who you are, and what you are, and strive to make the best from that. Don't try to live in these fantasy castles of what could have been or what other people have. This is where I'm living in that fantasy of if I had taken that million dollars and bought all those properties, I'd have a lot of money right now and I wouldn't have to worry about all this stuff. But I don't know what that would have been and it's futile to even consider because it's impossible. So look at what you got now, Kurt. Look at where you are and I'm very fortunate. Um, indeed, I'm really glad to have my mind sorted out. Um, I can the, the money stuff's much easier to sort out than the mind stuff. And I will sort all this stuff out. I, and I have a plan to do it. You can see that even bringing up the subject takes me down the path. So I, it's a principle of the good life to remind myself not to do that each and every day. Remind myself the best seat in the house, the house being the, the theater of life, is the seat that I'm in right now. Whatever that seat may be, whether it be this comfortable little chair here, which will soon be gone, or uh, a rock, a warm rock that I can find at the side of the road, or uh, a, 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 a bench in a shrine, in a Japanese temple, whatever the case may be, that's the best seat in the house. Even if as humble as it may be, as grand as it may be. Now that's that principle.